Hey guys, so I promised this video on Friday, right? So I had an issue getting one of the portions of the video pulled from YouTube, but I found out I could actually stream and record at the same time. I wish I had been doing that the entire time. Because it would have made a lot of this stuff a lot easier. I was literally taking portions, well, the different streams and uploading them to YouTube private and then pulling them down from YouTube, editing them, and then putting them back up public. Like, I could have saved myself so much issues, but I had ish I had a problem for like two days straight trying to get like the third stream down and putting it over to YouTube. It wouldn't upload to YouTube. And I had an issue with the next painting after this, which but anyway, today I was going to finally finish this video and get it up on YouTube. And, like, it, it's Monday. Well, technically it's Tuesday right now. But there was a construction crew right outside jackhammering away, so I could not do that. So I apologize for the way I really intended to get this up Friday and just had a terrible time. Anyway, I it is 1.05 in the morning right now. I just ended stream, so I figured anticipating noise again tomorrow, I would just go ahead tonight after I ended stream and do this voiceover really quick. So this is my painting, The Shepherd. I talked about it a little bit because I did the sketch. I posted the sketch to this a little while ago. I want to do something with like big bad wolf and or wolf in sheep's clothing and it just kind of turned into girls in sheep's clothing with a wolf bo peep shepherd guy it was a fun painting I enjoyed it I'm pretty happy with the way everything worked out and I decided last minute to add some moths as well but it's a nice pink color with the light blue. I, I'm, I really love that color palette. Like, I always hated pink. Like, I just hated the color pink, even growing up. But it just kind of grew on me. Because I, I use pink a lot. Whether it be in the skin tones or whatnot. It, it just kind of grew on me. Like, I have my favorite tones of, like, every color now. So anyway, girls in sheep's clothing. And one has, like, gigantuan fuzzy slippers, which makes me jealous, because I currently do not have slippers, and my feet are always cold. I had drawn the wolf and the girl holding his hand in stream as well as the sheep girl riding the other sheep girl, but I did not have footage drawing the other one in stream. I decided to add her last minute. They were this painting was compiled of like three different sketches that I put together in Photoshop. I don't like drawing so many characters together normally because sometimes they just don't match up and it looks a little funny so I'd rather like, piece them together in Photoshop and I do my printout and transfer it on. I use Sorel graphite paper. I get that question a lot what I use to transfer it on. Um, I want to do some videos at some point where I talk about the supplies that I use. I can talk about that a little bit. Right now I'm using the graphite paper it's wax free but I'm probably going to switch to one with wax because I have an issue where the graphite actually rubs off on the painting and I do my backgrounds first because let's face it it's a lot easier it, it sucks on one hand because sometimes it really looks like my character is superimposed it doesn't go with the background like if I would draw the background with the character I would pay more attention to where things would go and like try to make it more I don't know like a fluid movement or something and 
it would look like it more matched together but I normally just plop my the image I'm going to transfer on on top of it paint my well not paint but I like I sketch out where my horizon might be and then I just do whatever with it and it has the opportunity to really look bad and like I'll spend a lot of time on like a tree or something and like that tree is going to be covered up in the long run is like you kind of lose a lot of the oomph of the background. It'd be nicer if I planned it but it takes so long and I lose so many lines painting around. I I don't know how people do it. <laughs> like it, it's it's kind of stupid. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Um, like I see people paint and they do their background and it's like they don't cross over in their character with me. I'm just so sloppy. So it's, I don't know, it's like a preference thing. I prefer to do it this way, but it probably would be a lot better if I painted around and actually like pre-plotted my backgrounds a little more with the characters. I remember like watching Bob Ross as a kid or when I was younger and just thinking like birds they look weird kinda in paintings like you know just the little black things but it's like I started painting them a while ago in some paintings and they actually help dress it up a little bit the happy little birds like I actually kinda like it um, and then just adding random trees so it's not like a plain horizon or whatever. But it's just like simple little things to dress up the background. Like I, like I know I'm not to that part yet within the video. Like I never imagined I'd be like drawing the little M-shaped birds on paintings, but it, I, I don't know, it to me kind of finishes some of the paintings, it makes it look a little more nifty, like there's more going on, more movement and things. It is really late and I know I'm rambling and it's getting to a point now that I have talked so much that I may as well just keep talking because there's not really much time for a song left because the painting is near complete. Another thing I need to do is plot down um, colors. I don't do that. Like I kind of just wing it as I, as I paint and some paintings turn out like really nice color palettes and on other ones it just looks terrible and it's like I really should have thought that out more. Like, I would love to do some work in color theory, but I have no idea where to start. Like, it's not anything I've ever done. I didn't go to school for art. And Mothra and Godzilla did make an appearance in this video. They've um, been sitting pretty much off to the side watching me paint. And some nights I put them on cam, so I'm, I'm not on cam. Cause I normally have like a two cam setup so you can watch me on the stream and the painting but sometimes I just put Godzilla and Mothra there now. I was using my skeleton rat and gizmo. I have a gizmo that dances. So this is pretty much all I'm going to talk. It's the end of the video and I just waste a lot of time. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.